Okay, welcome back. Last time round, uh, we used the uh, drawing tools to create our coat hook, and we've extruded it using 3D modeling tools. Now, I want to, what I want to do is draw some holes on this face here so that we can extrude them out and we can screw our imaginary coat hook to the imaginary wall. Uh, so, uh, we're going to start a 2D sketch, but instead of drawing on a work plane now, we can draw on the face. So, I'm going to select this face here. And I'm going to just use the Orbit tool just to change the orientation of it. And I'm going to pan around a little bit. Uh, and I might Orbit just a little bit more. And I'm just going to draw some lines here. These are going to be guidelines for me, essentially, to line up where I want the holes to go. So I'm going to click a line from there. And if you notice that line there, it, the dot went green. And that the end dot has turned green there. So I know... That has drawn me a line from the midpoint there to the midpoint there. I now need to draw lines across. So I'm going to click the a line from there to there. And as long as it's at 0 degrees, and then another one from there to there, and that's at 0 degrees, I can then use the dimension tool to size where these are going to be. So if you notice, the end of that line there, I've hovered over it, has given me a white square. If I click on it, it will go blue. Click on the end of that line there, the white square goes blue, and I can drag a dimension away. And I'm just going to type in, turn that dimension to 8, and you'll notice it moves. Same here, the end of this line is going to go, the dot will go blue, another blue dot there, drag that away, and we're going to go 12. And then I'm going to draw a circle, uh, it's 4 there, and select that, and we'll go 4. These lines, I essentially don't need them, so I'm going to remove the lines of select and delete. Select, it will go white and delete. Select and delete, and go finish sketch. Now, what we could simply do here is click the extrude button, select that circle, select that circle, change the direction of extrusion so it's going to remove material, uh, and click return, and it would give us two holes. But we want to chamfer our holes, and we want to be professional, so we're going to use the hole tool. So I'm going to click escape here. And click on the hole tool at the top there. The hole tool, I've set this up already, but uh, we want the top, we want a chamfered hole. So if you just drop down to the bottom here, uh, and it will say countersink. Select countersink. Uh, I've changed this dimension to 7 and that one to 4. And if we select the centre of these two holes there and there and click the tick, we have now created two holes in our part. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed that and got that done successfully. Uh, join me in the next video, and we're going to do some more features. So I'm going to save that, and we're going to 